Hey everybody, how you doing? This is David. I wanted to uh, tell you something, uh, um, something that I found interesting. Uh, a few months ago, I was at church, and our and the director of our uh, of our the, the worship leader actually was always like, "Hey, you don't sing." I'm like, "Nah, I just you know, I don't have a great voice. I really don't sing. I enjoy the worship, but I'm, I don't really participate." And he was like, "Well, that's actually what not worship is for." I'm like, "What?" He goes, it "Doesn't matter what your voice is." You're there to praise God. It's ain't about you. This is about Him. If it's about you, none of us would sing except maybe a couple people in here who sound good. The rest of us would all be sitting quiet. So I was like, wow, what do you mean? He's like, well, this is about worship of God. This is your time to show God how much you appreciate Him. So it's not about you. And He likes to hear His people, His children worship Him. And so whether you're good or you're bad, it's still enjoyable. If your child sings to you, aren't you happy? Or do you say, oh, they don't have a great voice? So I was like, wow, I didn't see that perspective. So I got involved and I started now, I, I basically participate in, in, in worship because it's something that pleases God. But on that note, I was thinking about something else. Well, I'm a member of Celebrate Recovery. There's a lot of people who have a stigma with something like recovery. It's recovery month, September. So one of the things I want you guys to consider is remember this. There's all kinds of people in recovery. It's not drug addicts and alcoholics. It's everything. It's people that have problems with codependency, anger issues. People have trauma from childhood. So if you come to celebrate recovery, there's no stigma involved. There's men, there's women, there's old, there's young, black, white, Hispanic. It's everybody, anybody and everybody who's a child of God that needs something from help, hurts, hangups. It's not just addiction. There are, you know, alcohol problems. There are drug problems. We have people from a myriad of different areas that need God's love, and we help everybody, and we welcome everybody. There is no shame in stepping up as a man or woman and saying, you know what? When I was a kid, I had some really bad things happen to me. I would like to deal with those. We can help you. Uh, I Actually, the last few months, I've been probably spending too much time at work. i got a lot of anger issues. I'm stressed out. Come on by. Um... I've been sober for 10 years, but I'm just not really working a program or not. Step in. So what I want you guys to know is everybody's welcome at Celebrate Recovery. All of us. Everybody from everywhere, we welcome you. 6.30, come get a free meal. Every Thursday, First Montgomery Baptist Church. Celebrate Recovery welcomes everybody. We all want you there. You're going to get nothing but love and respect. You can stay for small group or you're going to stay for big group and worship us. And you can just come and eat. If that's all you really want to do, come eat and leave. If that's all you're ready for now, come. See what we got to offer you. I can tell you right now, it's changed my life. I see miracles happen all the time. I see people. I see restored families, restored relationship between friends. I see marriages restored. It's an incredible, incredible program. It's based on the 12 steps. And it is just an incredible program that will help so many families in the area around Montgomery, Conroe, Willis. If you live anywhere in the immediate area, come down to First Montgomery Baptist Church, Thursdays at 6.30. Look us up at the uh, website for Celebrate Recovery. You can see us right on there. You can get directions. But you're all welcome. Come. No judgment zone. Come get better.